फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट द सिविल एविएशन इंडस्ट्री हैज विटनेस्ड अन इमेजिनेबल ग्रोथ इन द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स सिक्सटी मिलियन पैसेंजर्स वर देयर डोमेस्टिकली इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन विच हैज गॉन अप टू वन फिफ्टी थ्री मिलियन एंड इंटरनेशनल पैसेंजर्स हैव ग्रोन अप फ्रॉम फोर्टी थ्री मिलियन टू सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन मिलियन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर टूडे वी स्टैंड एज द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट एविएशन इकॉनमी इन द होल वर्ल्ड इंडिया हैज बीन अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द आई सी एओ एंड वी हैव ट्राई टू फॉर्मुलेट our own laws by harmonizing whatever the standards and recommendation protocols SARPs are three from the ICAO the 1934 act was amended 21 times in such a way that whenever some SARPs were coming in we were just attaching it to the old bill there was no proper structure there is a lot of ambiguity in the existing act right now which is why a proper structural differences was supposed to be brought in this was done with the formation of this new bhartiya Vayu Yan Vidhayak. The first thing that we have tried to address is to structure the whole bill. Earlier, it used to happen that powers were written somewhere else and functions were written somewhere else. Rules were written somewhere else. ICAO's observation was that all should be in one principal act which creates harmony in civil aviation under this bill we have brought that harmony in civil aviation we are trying to correct the gaps that were there in the early act through the bhartiya vayu yan vidhayak we have brought in definition for design maintenance and manufacture into the bill before bringing this bill here a lot of wide consultation have happened both internally and externally we have received feedback from the public there have been a lot of inconsistencies in the earlier act related to the appeals there was a provision for appeal against financial penalties only regarding administrative penalties there was nothing written in the earlier act that addressed the appeal on administrative penalties now we have added administrative enforcement also so that there is an opportunity for appeal there has been some discussion on the naming of the bill also but i do not see the problem till 2014 civil aviation was always like it was for certain sections of civilized society it was like civilized aviation but coming close to the heels 
of the existing government to power it has been made accessible to the common man there is a certain mechanism for the fixation of airfare like atf the fuel cost the airport security fee user development fee landing charges and a lot of other factors are taken into account a lot of members maintained that certain carriers have gone out of the system the ministry is looking at adopting a balanced approach to ensure that the airlines too may not misuse or take advantage of the position of the passenger and at the same time we are creating a level playing field so that the airlines also operate at a certain stage in the country we are thinking of setting up an online mechanism to take in grievances from the people including the representatives of the people i take great pride in speaking about the rcs uran scheme which is regional connectivity scheme ude desh ka aam nagrik and some of the success stories this has created darbhanga city is a very historical city it had one air strip there which was running between 1950 and 1962 after 1962 there was no plane there it was totally taken away from the civil aviation map of this country when rcs came into play this was in 2020 thereafter the airport was upgraded by spending rupees 120 crore under the uran scheme more than 500 routes have started under the rcs more than 1.4 crore people of this country have traveled through the rcs routes that is something which we all should be proud of the rcs is specifically for 3 years because the way that scheme was done is that for 3 years we are going to help a certain airport or a certain route to take off other than that in the area of civil aviation we want to have sea planes also we have taken industry feedback also on sea plane policy they have requested some changes we have made those changes and very soon we are going to launch the new policy also that is going to open up a whole new area of air travel whenever you have dams wherever you have lakes wherever you have sea connectivity you can use the sea plane connectivity to connect those places again it is going to create an alternate way of traveling with regard to helicopters in india the number of helicopters is very less as compared to population or the 
size of the country. We have around 250 helicopters in the whole country. We want to encourage the manufacturing of helicopters. Bharatiya Vayuyan Vidhayak, which is going to improve the setting up of plants and will also help in designing these helicopters full stop.